Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a color, or not color and chat, uh, like a play and chat with my supplies that I received for Christmas and um, the things I got in my December haul. Um, just to kind of show you um, how some of this stuff is. We'll start off with, um, I did some swatching off camera um, just because there was so much. Um, sorry for the ums. These are the Spectrum Noir markers that I received for Christmas from my mom. And I can't wait to use them. Some really pretty colors. Just loving these vintage, vintage colors and the florals. And I also swatched, oops, sorry, bouncing around here, uh, the Chromatec brush pens, they are swatched right here, um, I have the markers all in their case on the wall, so I can't show you them, but the, the Chromatecs, um, are right here. And I did play with them for a little, with a little, with them a little bit, so I can show you that. Um, these are the Aztec brush pens. I haven't been able to use these, um, but a lot of people have done reviews on these. They're uh, good brush pens, so just a matter of time till I get to use them. Um, so that was it for the markers. And I'll show you a little bit. Um, so this came with the Chromatec watercolor brush pens, um, and they give you um, an example, and then there's some pages with etchings already on it, but they are also blank paper in here. So I am by no means a drawler or artist of any means. So these are like from when I was a child drawing again. <laughs> So, but um, somebody had asked, you know, what I thought, wanted to know what I thought of them. Uh, so I actually really liked working with them. Uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, like I said, it's from when I was a kid, how I used to draw. So, um, but they worked really nice. Um, this paper's nice, it didn't go through nothing. Uh, and then I actually pulled the tablet from the watercolor tubes and I did this one. Um, it, I watched the video from them. Um, so Chromatech has videos on all of their products. This is not supposed to way it, it's supposed to come out, but this was me doing, uh, because I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but I was thinking land, you know, water and then a mountain. So that's kind of why I did it that way but and as far as the actual Chromatech paints um I know someone has commented on them and asked what what I think of these they're the tubes honestly this is the first I've had them so I am a very much a beginner with these I am not entirely sure exactly the best way of mixing the color with the water. Um, I did play around a little bit with just straight on paint and um, paint with water and then more water and then more water and you know just washing around on watercolor paper as well as mixing two colors to make a different color um, but I did only open two colors in here um, for right now so I do apologize I can't give you more of a review on that. Um, I know you had a uh, concern with yours um, coming out with water. So out of the two that I opened, one of them had a little tiny bit of water that came out, but I just kept on pushing and the paint came out and then I just mixed it on the palette here and it was fine. Um, the second one didn't have any like liquidy water to begin with. So I don't know how the rest will be, but I imagine there's always some kind of, you know, fluctuation there. Um, so I guess I opened three. I said two, I opened three. Um, so yeah, I just like playing around. This is other, other markings, but 
these here were me just playing with different shading, mixing of the colors. Um, that I think that one, that was there previously, and that one, and that one. So I just kind of reused the paper. Cause... So this is more on with less water, and then I got added more and more water as I was going down through here, so I could kind of just see what the consistency, and you know, till I got to, so I guess it's just on what, what consistency you want it. Um, but as far as just trying it out here, it was fun, um, but I am very much a beginner, so I don't feel like I can really give it a proper review because I've never used any of the, this type of product before. Um, so I do apologize for that. Um, maybe some other people have done them. And I can maybe do another review once I've actually been able to have more time to actually utilize them and play with them. Um, but I needed to get this video done. Um, oh God, I'm so sorry for all the ums. Because it's just, sit all the stuff's just sitting here in a pile waiting to be recorded. And yeah, so. Um, there, I did it again, sorry. I'll probably have to re-record this. So I got these watercolor confections. I had ordered these for myself. Uh, I've been wanting a set of these. And when I opened them, I was kind of surprised because I don't know if you haven't had these before and you're newer to watercolors, they just seem like a different consistency. And then when I would put the water on them, some of them would like flower up um, and some they would soak straight down in and others just sat there. So I was a little thrown off by that because um, I wasn't familiar with that. But here's the swatch and I can tell you I love them. Yeah, love them. So... I definitely, I think I'm going to look at their other sets because I really, really like them, but I haven't used them. So I'm going to use them before I order any more, obviously, um, so that I know for sure what we got going on here. And then we had the CSY Art Gallery Tin Box. And I had like the green set. Um, so there are crystal silver, Inca gold, Miss green, green gold, apple green, and crystal green. So I figured we could go ahead and do these on camera. I usually try to do a lot of my swatching off camera but I figured you might want to see it done I apologize for the rattling we can't figure out what's rattling when the furnace is running and it's seeing me down in here So this is a green gold and I noticed another thing with the paints now that I'm kind of acquiring different paints they all are different in that they all take different times to activate once you put the water on I forgot to wet my brush so this is another reason why I don't do it on camera. <laughs> but I figured, what the heck? I gotta see something, right? I 
apple green. And I don't know if I do my swatches right. I don't know if there's a right or a wrong way of doing them. But this is how I do it. Oops. Crystal green. I think some people do this more so. I need to get making my own paints, but I've been slightly discouraged lately. I'm trying not to be. I wish I would have had these for my Christmas. Handle a book. Oh, that went perfect in there. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That would have been my number one gold, I think. Yeah. Let's see what it looks like when it dries, but that's gorgeous. And Miss Green. I really wanted the purple set from this this CSY. And I don't know if my I had the wrong or maybe I had both the green and the purple in there, but my mom got this probably off my wish list. But I want the purple set next. Alright. So there's our colors, guys. Girls, gals, sorry. Um, next I have the... Let me go back out. The Derwent metallic paint set and I have not swatched these yet and then they have a little swatch thing with them I went to swatch them so and they come with a paintbrush but I don't know that I want to use it I found that I do not like using a water brush because once you have a lot of water on there, it's it's hard to, you know, control. This brush is so hard. It's really hard to um, control the amount. You know, of, sorry. I think it's important that you see this part of it because, so I'm gonna grab a piece of scratch paper here. See, I don't like it like so thin like that. I mean, it's okay, but I don't want it thin like that. I like it. I like full on bold colors, so. Let me do that. I'm not sure how quick these will be to activate, like the last ones.
So they don't seem too bad on activating. So I'm going to do... Oh, I was cool in this. Took it away too soon. So I'm only going to do three at a time so they don't get too... Two, whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe I'm not letting them sit long enough. might be what it is. I need to sit longer and activate better. Hopefully it's just not a big video of my hand for the most part. I apologize. And if you heard that, that's one of my new kitties. She has a stuffy nose. If it ain't runny, it's stuffy. And she's sleeping on the chair beside me. <laughs> All right that out somehow too much. Okay. Oh. And you see how the drops are just sitting there. I noticed on that other set that they did that in certain ones. Okay. Yeah, I'll just do them all. I don't feel like that's, yeah, that's not doing anything. Hmm. This is why I don't film these on camera, because you never know what's going to happen or not happen. That's hmm. It's weird. Those two just seem funny. I don't know about these because it's like the yellow is separated from the green and that 
Hmm. I don't know about these ones. And, you know, I had saw uh, mixed reviews on these, so I kind of was curious. Oops, let me get this one. It's kind of curious what they were going to be like. So, yeah. Hmm. Maybe they do better with a thinner application. I don't know, like this one I did. We'll see. Try this blue again. I just like this blue is just not. I mean, I'm rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. I don't know. It's like it won't come off. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if you've used these and had a problem. Any kind of problem with them. I don't get it. I don't know why they're so light. They leave the water on too long. I don't know. Hmm. So confused. Yep, this is not, it's not, not okay. Wow, that one's really thick. Okay. Let's put some water on it. And Ooh. See, I don't I don't get it. How's that so bright and my one's so faint? I think. I'm going to try those ones again. Plug my phone in because it's tiny. Sorry if I was just shaking you around by the cord. I'm going to try this red again. Okay, that makes more sense. Oops, sorry, bouncing you around. Just not sure about these.
I'm going to set these aside and let them dry, and then we'll take a look at them. I also had gotten these King Art Pearlescents, um, and I actually went ahead and, let me zoom out here, went ahead and swatched these, um, just simply because there were so many. So these are the colors that you get with the set. Um, and they act really very quickly, and as you can tell, I did swatch them, and you can barely tell um, that I touched them. So, they do activate very quickly. So, they're not a lot of, not a lot you gotta do there. And, the only other thing that I had supply-wise, I believe, were the Sharpies, which you've seen in my completed pages. And then I got the Crackle Accents. I haven't seen anybody talk about them because probably for a reason. And I imagine that they are probably not the greatest in coloring books. And I wasn't sure, so I just did this here. Um, cat in front of this Art of Mandela book. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I want something that look like broken glass or ice, I will use it, but that's going to go in the craft, crafting stuff, because I don't know that I'm going to use it in my coloring pages. Um, if you know of a better way to use it in coloring pages, let me know. I would appreciate it, and I believe that was all for now. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.